President Sharon Weston Broome. Good morning, everyone. It is a uh, beautiful Monday morning in Baton Rouge and East Baton Rouge Parish. And it is certainly uh, good to be here for the groundbreaking of the Glen Oaks Sheriff's Substation. As you've heard already, this has truly uh, been a collaborative effort in the works, uh, working with Councilman Hurst, uh, with the Sheriff, uh, with our State Senator. Um, I am proud to say that we get more done when we collaborate and communicate. And so collaboration was key, certainly, in this project. But I'm especially proud to say that my administration was able to contribute $400,000 towards the building of this substation through ARPA funding, which is federal funding we received through President Biden's American Rescue Plan Act. And with the support of the Metro Council, we invested much of our ARPA dollars in infrastructure and in public safety, as you see here today. Because we believe that the existence of this substation will certainly help to deter crime in this area. We know, as Councilman Hurst just said, that we can't uh, police or sheriff our way out of uh, crime, that it takes a collaborative effort of law enforcement and community programs, which we certainly have infused in this community over the past uh, years since COVID-19. Like our support here for the Sheriff's substation today, uh, we continue to work with law enforcement uh, throughout uh, my tenure here as mayor president. And of course, uh, that includes what we've done for our police and our sheriff, uh, but our sheriff's office uh, works collaboratively with the BRPD as well. And I believe in the good people who serve in law enforcement. I love the prayer that the uh, bishop just prayed for our law enforcement officers, uh, no matter what color they wear, if it's blue or green. It takes the cooperation and strong collaboration of law enforcement agencies to ensure the safety of our community. And that's why we're going to continue to support our law enforcement. We're going to continue to establish community-based strategies. And we're going to work hard to address mental health needs in our community. And so as we uh, come to a close, my office serves as part of the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council. In this council, we partner with the 19th Judicial District Court, the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, our City Court, our Police Department, and the East Baton Rouge Parish District Attorney's Office. Why do I share that with you? Once again, to establish the evidence of collaboration and what we're doing on the public safety front. Uh, my office has provided more than $1.4 million in funding to this partnership to strengthen our courts and the practices and procedures within law enforcement serving our community. This groundbreaking today here at the new sheriff's substation is another example of successful efforts together to keep our city and our parish safe for all of our citizens. I want to thank once again and give a very robust thank you to all of the partners here for your strong advocacy, and we look forward to continuing to work together. Thank you so much.